I don't know how to feel about 11 eyes. But after doing a little research, everything suddenly adds up. Adapted by Doga Kobo from the adult visual novel, we follow Yuka Manase's route in the anime, while the manga follows Misuzu Kuksakabe's route. The story isn't too anything out of the box. We follow Kakaru who after his older sister took her own life has become closed off to others. However, due to Yuka's kindness, he has slowly begun coming out of his shell again. Suddenly, they are both pulled into a place dubbed the Red Knight and from there, the story unfolds. I shouldn't feel as strongly as I do about a generic 12 episode anime, however Eleven Eyes pulled me in with its opening episode, talisman magic aesthetic, dope powers, and tropey characters. It reminded me a lot of Onimusha and Persona and I was ready to love this show. It doesn't start slow, but they also left a lot of mysteries in the air, and as we get introduced to characters and their powers, the pacing suddenly breaks at around episode 8. At that point, everything is explained over the next 4 episodes leading into the finale and Oh boy, does this show have a finale. As far as I'm concerned, this anime ended at episode 11, everything else is just filler, and no, you cannot convince me otherwise. Save for the two love interests, Yuka the Nullifier and Misuzu the Swordswoman, we have Yukiko, Hakihasha, and Kukuri, who make up the 11 eyes as per the title. There's also Take- I mean Psycho the school nurse, and Shiori. But, as I said, 11 eyes did not stick the landing. It's almost as if the creators of School Days and Akamaga- Wait a second! It was you! It was you, wasn't it? You did the- Jokes aside, while this isn't a masterpiece and could likely have done with having the stories from the other roots of the visual novel incorporated, which I'm tempted to go and play, with its limited runtime, I think that it did just enough to make me feel something, and that's all I can ask for my anime. If it had the time to mature the story, add in the other visual novel paths, and perhaps deviate from the source material to patch up some of the really obvious questions that arise around the whole conflict unfolding, I think this could have been a very simple yet standout anime. But as it stands, Eleven Eyes went down as another show to be lost to the sands of time, though even after watching, I wouldn't say I wasted my 3 hours and 40 minutes. I might do a deep dive on this in the future, but for now, I'm putting it in my personal recommendations and rating this a Yuka is better than Misuzu out of 10.